Okay, we're now going to look at working out the means from grouped frequency tables. So here you can see you've got a grouped frequency table. The reason you notice a grouped frequency table is got the inequalities. So this means the time is bigger than or equal to zero, but less than two. Time is bigger than or equal to two, but less than four. Time is bigger than or equal to four, but less than six, and so on and so on, all the way to time is bigger than or equal to 12, but less than 14 hours. We've got the number of boys, 7, 7, 11, 15, 8, 16, and 22, and we're gonna work out the mean for this. I would recommend watching mean for fre from frequency tables to begin with, okay? So if you haven't seen it, watch the means, means from frequency tables. So, um, in the means from frequency tables, what you done was, you got the FX column by multiplying each of the frequencies by the values. So you've done seven times something, seven times something, 11 times something, 15 times something, and so on. Because it's group data, it's a bit more tricky than to do that. You can't just do seven times you know, this inequality, okay? So what this is actually an estimate. It's an estimate of the mean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do seven times the midpoint. Well, the midpoint of zero to two is one. The midpoint of two to four is three. The midpoint of four to six is five. 6 to 8 is 7, 10 to 8 is 9, 10 to 12 is 11, and 12 to 14 is 13. So what we've done is we've worked out all our midpoints. Then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the frequency by the midpoint. So we're going to do 7 times 1, 7 times 3, 11 times 5, and so on. 7 times 1 is 7, so that's, in the mid, that's our fx. 7 times 3 is 21, 11 times 5 is 55. 15 times 7 is 105. You can check that on the calculator if you wish. Uh, 8 times 9 is 72. 11 times uh, 16 is 176. And 22 times 13 is 286. So what we've done is we've said that the midpoint times the frequency, and we've worked that out to be the fx column. Now what we're going to do is, like we would do in the means from frequency tables, we're going to add up our fx column, add up how many people there are, we divide the grand total by how many people there are, and that'll give us the mean. So what we're going to do is we're now going to add up all the fx's. So, 7 plus 21 plus 55 plus 105 plus 72, plus 176, plus 286, equals 722. So 722 is the grand total, 722. And then you're going to add together how many boys there are. So we're going to add together, add 7, plus 7, plus 11, plus 15, plus 8, plus 16, plus 22. And all together there's 86 boys all together. Let's just double check that. 7 plus 7 plus 11 plus 15 plus 8 plus 16 plus 22 is 86. We divide the grand total, 722, by 86, and that'll give us the estimated mean. Okay, So the estimated mean is 722 divided by 86. So 722 divided by 86 is... 8.39534887. You can write that all down if you wish. I just did a few dots, show goes on. And then round it, let's round it to one decimal place, 8.4. So 8.4 to one decimal place. And that's how you find an estimated mean. The question might ask you why it's an estimate. The reason is because you don't know what how many R's these seven boys said between zero and two. We've just gone for the middle one, being a representative one, okay?